So this is uh, just for reference. Uh, we picked the mystery vehicle at budget when we came into Houston for the Renaissance Fair. And they gave us one of these nice TRD Toyota Tacomas. But I'm doing a quick once around because I used to work for these companies before and I know how they are. I just want to document and show everything that's on the vehicle. Just so we don't get charged for it or something like that. I do a once over of everything in the interior, everything on the exterior. Just so we don't get. I worked for uh, Hertz and Displains, Illinois, as a diesel mechanic, and I know how it is. I was one of the guys that was working on these vehicles sometimes. It's got a nice little tick to it as well. Look and, and look what's right on top right there. High pressure fuel pump. Just do it once around. Then uh spot right there huh there's a dent in the other side that I didn't see okay I'm gonna go look at the other side real quick and see what she's talking about Den right there. Some scratches up here in this water. Here as well. Okay. Well, I mean, that part's dirty. Yeah, I know. It's, it's gonna be dirty, dear. Yeah, All right. So, documented. Let's drive it and see how it drives. An interior is not bad. How many miles are on this thing? Nine thousand. A little small in here. Um, push it where? Oh, you have to adjust it with your little. I know. I'm used to mine. Oh my god. It's a little truck. It's kind of comfy, but wish I had a little bit more leg room. I like. Seats feel, I don't know, seats feel very tight and very small, especially for a bigger person. I like it overall. I like the way it's laid out, though. It's real nice. It looks like it's kind of user-friendly. Everything real big imaging on all the buttons so you know exactly where it's at. And then they have uh, your rear end lockup and then your different modes for your four-wheel drive. driving down here you look at all these older cars and you know they're some of them might be banged up and stuff like that but not a single one of them has a rusted out body anywhere they're all all the old ones like the Econoline vans all in good shape that's all banged up and busted up but no rust anywhere on that behind us we got like a 2000 model f f-150 no rust the wheel wells and everything are fine there's an older mid 2000 early 2000 f-250 no rust anywhere on that truck. And then here is a, here's an older, early model, late model. Uh, it'd be like a two, 2010 or something, F-150. None of these cars have rust. You know how much easier it'd be to work as a, as a Ford technician down here in Texas instead of up in Illinois where everything's rotten. These guys down here have it so much dang easier when it comes to working on vehicles and no rust. Every one of these vehicles, old and new, just look like, like they're in, in great shape. Because it's an old Focus right here. 
not old, but older, 10 model, 11 model. So far, it, it seems to ride pretty good. It's got really nice brakes. Uh, AC is really nice. After you're driving it for a little bit, I think the, the seats are they're not bad. You like them or not? Like your seats better? I like mine better. She's got a GMC Sierra, so the seats are a little wider and softer. And these are brand new and real stiff still. But it is an off-road vehicle, so it's not, you know, it's... Some people say the suspension is cushy, but I don't find that the suspension is cushy on these. It's actually pretty tight. Um, and I've, so far, I'm, I don't have an issue with it. Um, how do you think about the vision, the view? Can you see clear or you don't like it or is it too enclosed or what do you think? Too it's just too, too tight it's inside. Amazing. She's used to driving a, a full-size truck, so this is a little bit different. Overall, I, I mean, I can say me personally riding it, um, I'm pretty happy with the vehicle. Um, I just tomorrow I'm gonna actually get behind the driver. See, I'm gonna get behind the steering wheel tomorrow. Huh? I, I'm gonna get behind the steering wheel tomorrow, and I'm gonna drive it, um, so I can actually feel what it's like, and try it out get on it a little bit and give an honest review of the, what I feel you know what I feel with the brakes and the steering and stuff like that overall it seems to be a pretty good truck so uh, yeah this we'll get where we're going and I'll give you a recap on the rest of the drive tonight there'll be a part two tomorrow so far we've put some miles on it it seems to be it seems to ride pretty good and I just I don't care for how tight the interior is um, but overall it's not a bad running truck it just ain't for a family, you know. It's not to me. It's not a family truck. It's a you know, weekend getaway or your cabin, you know, crib truck or something, or maybe a single driver every day to work with nobody else. It just there's not a lot of room in it. Um, I don't feel that there's an excessively soft suspension to it at all. Uh, some people are saying the suspension is really soft on these. It's not. It's actually pretty firm and it handles very well. So um, my first take is. Seems to be a pretty stout truck. Runs really well. Uh, the power doesn't have a ton of power. It's only like 278 horsepower. So when you get into it, there's kind of a little bit of a... And then it gets up and starts going. So that's kind of what I miss with the full-size trucks. They got some get up and go. This one doesn't really have a lot of get up and go. Um, but overall, I'm really impressed with it. The condition of the, the truck overall is nice. Uh, just not my cup of tea compared to a full size you know raw power truck but definitely a nice truck part one of uh the video on this i just wanted to share with you guys the initial thought and we got lucky with the mystery car it's actually a really nice car and only paid like 212 bucks for four days to rent this out here in houston it's a nice ride not my cup of tea but i do have to give them props hell of a truck y'all be blessed Stay tuned for part two tomorrow where I'm behind the wheel and not hurt.